I find many Christians who have a lot of questions about eternity. How do you get to heaven? How does it happen? Is it instant? What about the resurrection of the body? We can't get into all of them tonight. But they have questions. And when they've, we've been together and I've been able to give these messages, it's amazing how they say, man, I found such peace understanding what it really says. So I hope that maybe some of you, who well, most of you are believers already, that you will find a clear mind and enjoy sharing about heaven. And I find unbelievable believers are often more interested even than we Christians because we've got it sort of settled, right? Right? Yeah, no, you're not so sure. There must be a lot of, a lot of Presbyterians here tonight. Ah, 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 they're good people. Ah, but uh, anyway, so let me read to you two famous passages. At least one of them is famous. John 14, the Lord Jesus talking about heaven. Here we go. Don't let your hearts be troubled. You trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and snatch you to be with me so that you may be also where I am. And you know the way to the place I'm going. One of the disciples said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh-huh. We'll come back to it in a second. Now let me read to you one that has always intrigued me. It's the first fellow in the Bible that was killed for Jesus Christ. Stephen, remember him? Yeah, he was the first one murdered for being a follower of Jesus Christ. And the way he saw things at the last minute is fabulous. So let me read it to you. I've never heard a sermon on this one. Uh, I don't hear many sermons. I preach them. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so I, there's no surprise I haven't heard it. But this is what it says. Listen, it's beautiful. He gave a long sermon and then accused the people of killing the Savior. And then they, this is what happened. When they heard this, they were furious and they gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven. Notice that, looked up to heaven. And he saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God the Father. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God the Father. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, they rushed at him and they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their clothes at the feet of a young man, man named Saul, later the apostle Paul. While they were stoning him, here we come, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, don't hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Man, what a sight, huh? And you know, that passage tells us so much about what we want to talk to you and encourage you today. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. I love to talk about it because you see the shock in people's eyes, you know. What? The other day I was standing in line to register at the hospital, and they always ask you the same question. What's your name? I don't know. You know, uh, what's your date of birth? I'm standing in line waiting, and a young woman came behind who lost her hair because of the treatment with her husband and a baby, a two-year-old little baby, beautiful girl. So I just said, hi, how are you doing? And they were joking among themselves, but she would look distressed, poor thing. And uh, the husband went to get her coffee, and she said to me, you don't seem to be afraid of dying. We haven't even talked about it, you know. I don't know where she got the the Holy Spirit must have been told her. And uh, I said, actually, no, I'm not. I don't like the idea, but I'm not afraid because I believe in Jesus Christ, and I know when I die, I go straight to heaven. She said, you do? Oh, yeah. She said, oh, I read that. What are those, those things that they have in the papers that tell you your luck, you know, Sagittarius and... Horoscope, yeah. 
She, oh, she heard. So then the lady calls me up and says, birthday, 11, 27, 34. She said, oh, you're Sagittarius or some. Uh, she said, I don't know. I don't read that stuff. It'll send you to the wrong airport. She said, well, yeah. I, mean, I said, she said to me, what do you mean? What airport? I thought, oh, forget it, you know. Uh, so, but she was sweet, and you could see she was in, in pain, the poor thing. You can talk about it, and it, people will listen to you because it's a very serious thing. You know, every other decision, yeah, it's not as important as where will you spend eternity? 